Sometimes people ask me, what chords do I play? Well, the lead sheet is going to tell you what you should play, of course, if you're learning a song, but it's a bit more fun to come up with your own chord progressions and then maybe improvise over them if you want to. I'm just going to focus on the chord part today. So uh, you simply just take any four notes. So let's just take, uh, this is going to be a bass movement. This is not the, the notes of the chord. So I might take C and that might go to A and that might go to uh, G uh, and then E. Completely spontaneous, haven't planned anything, of course. And you're going to choose a chord type. Now you can, of course, do the same chord type in each of those keys. So let's just take minor seven. C minor seven, down to A minor seven. We'll just keep going around with the same chord type. Let me just do that with um, major seven. Fine. But it's a bit more interesting if you spice it up a bit and use different chord types. So let's use a C minor seven, let's say. My thumb is playing the D as well for the nine. Uh, let's play A major seven here. And you can even alternate between those two chords. We're not thinking about keys, diatonic chords. These are just two chords that don't uh, belong together. Let's go G minor six. Alternate between the A major seven from before and the G minor six. Two different sounds you probably haven't heard before. Not, not the worst combination. So uh, if we got we had the C minor seven with the nine, A major seven, G minor six. E7 sus, let's say. I'm not going to resolve it back to the major third, I'm going to keep it on the fourth here, the suspended four, that's why it's called sus chords. didn't have to. So that's the idea. Let me just uh, chuck out another one. Um, let's do uh, B major 7. For the, at the moment, my feeling is I want to kind of drop down like that. You don't have to do that, of course. I just feel like I want to do that with different chord types. Let's just see what happens. This is what you're going to be doing. Major 7 here. Yeah, of course, it's a different rhythm as well. Let's kind of get a kind of B flat minor 7. Uh, a major 7 again. So like that. So that was something like uh, on B. G hold and minish. I don't know if I played half diminished, but that's the whole point. I'm just messing around. Different chord types. It's just a bit of fun. I uh, just want to basically make that little video for you. And if you want to improvise, uh, give you share, share that idea. If you want to improvise, just start with the notes of the chord. Uh, let's just uh, make up another one. I'll, I'll just plan it first. Let's say uh, D going to um, F sharp, going to uh, C, and then going to A flat. So we just drill that bass movement in. I can't remember what I said. D, F sharp, C, A flat. Is that what I said? Well, I'll, let's do that anyway. D, F sharp, C, A flat. So you see how spontaneous it is. Uh, let's do D minor 7. I always put a 9 in everywhere, so let's just D minor 9 here. Maybe make it a bit more jazzy, this one. Um, where F sharp can be uh, F sharp, uh, maybe minor 7. That's quite nice, just all. That's quite nice. C can be, uh, let's do it as half diminished. So I'll alternate between those three first just to get the feeling. And then I said A flat, so let's go down to the A flat and play um, A flat um, six. A flat six. 
Just drill that. So C6, uh, I think I said. Did I? No, A flat 6. C half diminished. And then A flat 6. Okay, sounds quite nice. The point is that you're just finding chord progressions that aren't common. Because, uh, of course, in jazz, there's all the 251 stuff, I have videos on that. It's all upper fourth stuff. Uh, hopefully, you know all that. So, it's nice to break it up a bit. So, just get that in my fingers again, D minus 7. F sharp minus seven. C half diminished. A flat six. Okay. So if you want to improvise, you're just going to play notes of the chord. C half diminished. A flat six. So just breaking up the notes of the chord. That was it. And let's consider that a passing tone, what I did earlier. So that's just the idea. Just mess around, play random chords, just four chords, absolutely anything you want, any chord type, any key, any movement, drill it into your fingers, play the notes of the chord, and you're going to get some pretty cool sounds, especially if, it, if you have a digital piano and you want to put it on the electric piano sound. Start to get some of these kind of modern you know, chord progressions, which are often actually just, let's say, random chords anywhere, but they, they, they're very unexpected chord progressions. You're not just getting the two five ones everywhere. They do, really do move around in random places. E minor 7 might go to uh, C sharp, uh, major 7. Then it might go down to A minor 7. And then on to G major 7. It's that kind of thing. We just get these really unique sounds. So hopefully you'll have a bit of fun with that. It's giving you something to think about. There you go. As always, likes, comments, subscriptions are always welcome. Have a look at my video management website, Waterpinders and Siddhas, perhaps uh, Patreon, and all my playlists. And I'll see you in the next video. All the best. Bye for now.